Good afternoon, CNUSD families. It's hard to believe we are already finishing up our first month of our 2021 school year. We know this past month has not been easy for our parents, students, and educators. Changing the way we teach and learn in such a drastic manner is not something that happens without growing pains and challenges. And we thank you for your tenacity and commitment to the education of our next generation. Today, we want to provide you with an update to our plan for the reopening of schools so we can be all best prepared as we continue moving forward. Earlier this week at the CNUSD special board meeting, administrators presented the Board of Education with a plan to bring back small groups of students to our campuses for intervention and support within the parameters outlined by the California Department of Public Health. These small groups will focus on assessments, interventions, and support for our students with special needs. Students in the foster care system, economically disadvantaged students, and our English learners. The implementation for small group return is aimed to begin with a pilot phase on September 28th, followed by a phase one implementation on October the 5th. The program will go to the Board of Education for approval next Tuesday, September 15th. Additionally, this week the board voted to approve a resolution to transition to an in-person instructional model to the greatest extent possible, as soon as public health and conditions allow. This resolution will provide staff the direction to continue planning and preparing for the reopening of schools. Riverside County is currently categorized in the widespread tier, also known as purple, of the of governor's blueprint for a safer economy. But once it moves into a substantial tier, also known as red, for two weeks, our schools will be allowed to reopen with limited capacity. Our next phase includes finalizing our detailed plan for a return to school, which will more than likely be in a hybrid format, limiting the number of students on our campus per day in accordance to the California Department of Public Health industry guidance for schools. The finalization of this plan will be done in partnership with our labor groups and brought back to our Board of Education to approve. Our administrators and district departments will continue to prepare our schools for a return of students in alignment with the Safe School Reopening and Safety Plan. To date, we have purchased the necessary equipment and PPE to ensure proper sanitation for our classrooms and school sites. Physical barriers, mass temperature scanners, and upgraded filtration in our HVAC systems have been installed at all of our school sites to ensure the safety of our staff and students. We understand the importance of getting our students back in school and ensure not only their continued academic growth, but also their social emotional well-being. While our staff and teachers are making every effort for our students to succeed in the remote and virtual learning environments, we realize that there's no true replacement to in-person learning. We look forward to seeing our students and staff back on campus as we continue learning and growing together in the safest manner possible. Thank you for watching.